But you guys need to be making sure you guys are squared away and you're ready to go in that cell. So the first thing I would do as an officer is take everything off my uniform that I do not need. If you're going to be going into a cell with an inmate, you don't need any pins on you. You don't need a radio on you. Take off any extra equipment you have. Go put it somewhere. And then you can put your PP uh, outfit on and your belt. So that way you're good to go. Because the last thing you want to happen, I've seen this, is you start fighting with an inmate and he starts pulling out your pins to try to stick you with. Or he starts grabbing your fucking radio and screaming on it with. So take off all this shit you don't need. That's the first thing. The second thing, who are you extracting? Take a minute to look this inmate up and look up his last few batteries he's had so you can see what type of inmate he is. Does he like to gas staff? Does he like to fight with staff? What does he do? Kick? Does he hit? I guarantee you he's going to do the same damn shit again. So take a minute, look through Psalms on disciplinary, see what the inmate's about. The third thing, check your equipment. If you're going to do an extraction, go find out where your extraction gear is and go get some shit that actually fits you. The biggest thing here, guys, check your seal on your gas mask. Don't check it at the last minute, but put it on, prep it, check the seal to make sure you're good. I've seen some of the biggest dudes in the state get taken out because OC exposure. And those are the only guys I had to protect me. So when they weren't there, I, uh, I was pretty fucking scared. But check your guys' seal on your gas mask. Another thing, guys, and this is mainly for more of you supervisors, uh, try to do a dry run if you guys have the time or if you guys have a cell open. Excuse me. You guys are extracting inmates in a lot of different types of settings. And if you haven't walked into a cell for that layout, uh, it's going to be a whole lot smaller and tighter than you think. If you're an officer going to go into a cell, do you know what side his toilet's on? Do you know what side his sink's on? Get a feel for it so you know what you're going into. Um, if you can, do a dry run. Your supervisor should be having you do it, but a lot of them, I don't know what the fuck they're really doing, but uh, if you can do that as an officer with you and your guys. But for you senior cops, if you're going to do an extraction, there's probably one or two new guys in there with you. Talk to them, communicate with them, because I guarantee you they have a lot of questions that they don't feel comfortable bringing up. It's your guys' job to communicate. You guys are all wearing green, so act like it. Uh, these are little mistakes that I've seen with the extractions that I've done in the past. Uh, people didn't communicate. People didn't prep their seal on their gas mask. People didn't understand the layout of the cell we were going into. Uh, there's a lot of stuff, guys. If you guys have any tips or comments, drop them. I'm Alex Duran.